hexagonal bolt. In this video, we'll delve into the intricacies of drawing the orthographic view of a hexagonal bolt in engineering, aided by a 3D perspective. The widely adopted method for such drawings is the first angle method. Here, we imagine a hexagonal bolt positioned in the first quadrant. Our reference point for viewing the bolt is from this angle, making this side our front view. When observed from this perspective, the bolt presents itself in this manner. A top view reveals this configuration, while the left and right side views showcase these orientations. This elucidates the differing aspects of a hexagonal bolt from various angles. Armed with this comprehension, we can proceed with the drawing. Typically, when drawing a bolt, the nominal diameter is provided. For our demonstration, we'll consider a bolt diameter of 20 mm as standard. Let's initiate the drawing process. Utilizing the first angle method, we commence with the front view. Generally, the bolt's length across corners is twice its nominal diameter, equating to 40 mm. The chamfer radius ranges from 1.25 to 1.5 times the diameter. In our case, we'll opt for 1.5 times, resulting in a length of 30 mm. The head's thickness spans from 0.8 times D to D. We'll opt for D, amounting to 20 millimeters. This chamfer typically maintains a 30 degree angle. The body length of a hexagonal bolt is generally five times the diameter, totaling 100 millimeters, while the threaded length is approximately twice the diameter, or 40 millimeters. The minor diameter of the bolt typically ranges from 0.8 times the diameter to 0.85 times the diameter. We'll opt for 0.8 times the diameter. The thread's runout is indicated by a 45-degree chamfer, and the end chamfer maintains a 45-degree angle as well. Armed with these specifications, we can commence the drawing process. To begin, take a drafter and draw the axis line. We'll commence with the head of the bolt by drawing a rectangle measuring 40 mm in width and 20 mm in length. Divide this rectangle into three parts, such that the middle portion is 20 mm wide and the side portions each measuring 10 mm. Next, using a compass adjusted to 30 mm, place it at the designated point and mark an arc on the axis line. This arc provides us with the necessary center point for drawing the chamfer. Proceed to draw a center line passing through these two surfaces. The width of these two surfaces is 10 mm, and the center point will be 5 mm. Mark these center points and draw horizontal lines accordingly. Connect these points as demonstrated. Afterwards, draw a perpendicular line intersecting this line. To achieve this, Adjust the compass to some length and cut the arcs as indicated. Connect these points to draw the line intersecting the center line. This intersection denotes the required center point for drawing the chamfer on this surface. Position the compass at this point, adjust it to the length as shown, and draw the arc. Next, without altering the compass length, place it on this point and cut the arc. Utilize this point to draw the chamfer, completing the head portion of the bolt. After this step, we will proceed to darken the necessary lines. Following this, let's proceed to draw the chamfers of the nut. The chamfer angle is set at 30 degrees. Given that the bolt is positioned horizontally, adjust the drafter to a 60 degree angle and draw the chamfers accordingly. Extend the body of the bolt to 100 mm using the drafter. Mark the threaded portion 40 mm from the end of the body. To represent the threaded portion, Considering its width is 16 mm, place the drafter at the centerline and mark points at 8 mm gaps on both sides. 
Extend these points with horizontal lines to depict the threaded portion. Lastly, draw 45 degree chamfers at the runout and end of the body to finalize the front view of the bolt. This concludes the front view of the bolt. Next, let's proceed to sketch the left side view of the bolt. Begin by projecting the horizontal lines from the front view using a drafter. Draw a vertical axis line as indicated. Using a compass, adjust it to the specified length as shown, and proceed to draw a light circle. Without altering the compass length, use these points as centers to cut the arcs as illustrated. These points represent the corner points of the hexagon. Connect these points with lines to form the hexagon. Place the compass at the center and draw the circle. Adjust the compass to this length and draw the dotted circles representing the threaded portion of the bolt. This completes the left side view. Now, let's tackle the top view of the bolt. Project the projection lines from both the front and side views of the bolt. To project the lines from the side view, draw an inclined line at a 45 degree angle. Use these lines to construct the top view. Use a drafter to draw the rectangle and then proceed with drawing the body of the bolt. Complete the thread as shown. In the end, let's draw the chamfers at the bolt head. Given that only two surfaces are visible from the top view, we'll draw a line passing through the centers of these surfaces. Adjust the compass to a specific length, and utilize these two points as centers to cut the arcs as demonstrated. Draw a line passing through these two points. Similarly, we can repeat this process for the other side. Alternatively, since both surfaces are equally wide, we can adjust the compass to this length and use the midpoint as the center to cut the arc. Draw a horizontal line passing through this point using the drafter. Now, just as we did for the bolt head, connect these two points. Then, draw a perpendicular line passing through this line. This point serves as the center point required for the chamfer. Without altering the compass length, 
use this point as the center to cut the arc as shown. Now, with this point as the center, draw the chamfer. This concludes the top view of the bolt. I hope this video has provided you with a comprehensive understanding of how to draw the orthographic view of the bolt. If you're eager to delve deeper into this topic, consider joining my course. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. For more content like this, subscribe to my channel, ADTW Study, to stay updated on all my latest videos.